Hello guys, it's Give Me The Fed and today I'm doing another, well I know that it's like been I think half a year since I did my last set of video, anyway, it changed so much I want to make a new one, cause I think it's kind of necessary, so here just a brief overview of my desk and you might see a lot of things that have changed, you might not see some things that have changed, anyway, let's guide you through it. And that's out of it, the beast itself, the PC, oh, beast, like, okay, it's just a basic PC. Anyway, so it's a standard medium PC, has a GTX 750 graphics card, I think it's a quad core. I, it's good, we do need an extra USB hub, thinking about switching this drive, which currently doesn't serve for anything. Like you can see there's no disk drive in there. And we might be able to fit some more USB ports in that, so it can plug you directly into the motherboard, which would be fun. Uh, so anyway, you might see this annoying cable, which has to go in the front, because I only have two USB 3.0 ports, right here. With, and yeah, I'll, I'll say what this cable is for later when we get to that part. Anyway, you can see the big mess of cables, and is this my USB? Ex yeah, that's my extender. I have to remember that's there for when I need it. Anyway, so moving up, I'll take a seat because it's quite a lot. Anyway, so got the PC screen, medium 1440 by 900, so that's not a 60x9 ratio. However, I, it, it's workable. I like it. It's good for gaming. It's not too wide. Has a good. Uh, What's it called? Latency? It's like only 5 milliseconds and it's a fucking old screen, so yeah, best of its class, I'd say. Anyway, uh, good screen, so yeah. Getting on to this, well, just an external hard drive I use for a couple of things. N nothing that really should interest you. Anyway, so we got this mic arm with a mic and a pop filter and a shock mount. So this is the AT2020 USB plus mic, it's cardioid. So you can, uh, well the best voice pickup is right here. And right here in the back, there, there's no voice pickup at all. So whenever I talk, there's always going to be some sound that echoes off this wall, gets back here, doesn't get picked up a lot. Unless it like bounces back, to the wall behind me and that would suck. Anyway, doesn't really happen a lot. It's quite a good soundproof room, I'd say. Like, there's not a lot of echo. Unless, well, that's the main thing about this arm. Hollow metal. Uh, of course, full metal uh, filled in would be way too heavy. But because it's hollow, I can... Well, even talking... Uh, even raising my voice sometimes can make this one shake uh, yeah I think I could have some physicists uh, work out what frequency I have to talk on but I know it's a frequency I sometimes talk on and especially when I rage so and also this happens when I bonk on against a desk which happens a lot for some reason anyway got the iPod here so really clutch to listen to some music we got the Star Wars cover and of course the myth, the legend, Kimi Raikkonen. Uh, thing is with this I can just hook it up via this port, which I'm holding my finger on. This port can just hook it up to this and listen uh, with it, well listen to all the music that I'm playing on it through this thing. My old Astro A40s have got them for almost two years now, so really good. Here's the mix amp. So, the wiring is kind of complicated on this one. So we have the inline mute cable going into here. Then mix amp, normal volume button. Uh, the balance between game audio and voice audio, or at least that's what it says. It's basically if you use it only for Xbox 360 with the chat cable. However, game is PC for me and uh, voice is Xbox sound. And well, to game it also, okay, okay that was weird. Like, some things against my window. Anyway, so uh, game also accounts for the iPod or my iPhone, which I usually have plugged into this so I can listen to all the snaps without it playing uh, like fucked up loud. And then here in the back, we've got the optical cable going through the Xbox, 
that's somewhere there in the back. I've got a second optical cable right here for my Xbox 360. This hooks up to my PC, it's the USB cable, should normally be plugged in into the Xbox for power, however plugging it into the PC helps a lot because it, it works as a PC headset as well, so I can listen to three devices at once. If I would have another one of these cables, like it's a, a 3.5mm uh, to 3.5mm, I could plug it in there into the stream port, maybe I listen to four devices at once, but I don't know why you would want it. Anyway, big bottle of water, standard, uh, you need to stay hydrated and everything, basically just to stay healthy. Uh, then, getting down here, let's start with the oldie, Xbox 360 with my scuff controller, uh, there's one more controller right there and two more here, so yeah, I've got a lot of controllers for that one. Then here is the Xbox One, which is hooked on the last screen, and yeah, my 360 is not on now, but well, actually I will show you that in a bit when we get to the back of that. So then hooked up to the Xbox One here, I have a Seagate 5 terabyte hard drive, which I can show you. No, I don't need that. Just go to the bottom. My games and apps. Anyway, uh, short controller. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, do you have problems with the cable, which broke like after less than four months? So yeah, buy the controller. And this cable like, off AliExpress, like seriously. Less than one euro for the cable. Like, who, who the fuck are you kidding? Anyway, you can see there, 4.3 terabyte available. Yeah, as in, it's in Dutch, but anyway, you can read 4.3 gigabytes, uh, terabytes, and 10.3 percent in use with all these games on it. So yeah, I, I still might need to install those. Anyway, it, it's a lot of stuff to have stored on it, so. <laughs> anyway, like, it's really handy because I was running out of storage, so yeah. Anyway, uh, there's nothing really more in the back. I used to have my old Legato there, but I'll get to that in a second. Uh, this screen, it's also medial because it's the most apparent thing in Belgium, apparently. Uh, it's 1080p, so that's good. 60 FPS. It's a, it's a good gaming uh, monitor. 2 milliseconds lag, I think. So yeah, it's a 2 millisecond latency. Kind of good. Webcam C270. Not a good one. It's not like a 920. Like this one only records 720p, 30fps. And I make my videos in 1080p 60. So, kind of a bummer. But hey, we can work with it. We can work with it, right? So, like the webcam, it's only like there in a, in a little box so yeah it shouldn't be the main focus of the video here i've got my own ipad now uh ipad 2 i was going to record it with that but the camera quality kind of was shit so decided to record it with the iphone 4s um then getting to the back of this there's a lot of stuff down here and we'll start off with the least important thing Ch uh, charger for xbox 360 battery packs not that important then a HDMI switch with three inputs. I used to have an old one with buttons like I, I press like one button and it makes a huge clicking sound. And only had two inputs. Uh, I wanted a newer one because it had a, a, like a huge latency. Like I switch it from HDMI port, then like 20 seconds later it switched. So this one is like five seconds, but for five euros, really cheap in the action store. Um, so yeah, three ports and I've got this remote. For it so the, the good thing is like now it's on one that's my xbox i can press two all i want or three you can see i'm pressing it it won't happen as long as the agmi port doesn't feed anything into the agmi switch it will not switch that's clutch and then one thing i've been working on is getting this ready um it's Ikenich each 9, it captures 4K and 10 FPS, 2.8K and 20 FPS, I think. Uh, more importantly, 1080p and 60 FPS and 720p and 120 FPS. So, yeah, and as you see here, if you would focus, please. Focus. 
yeah it's not really working there's an HDMI port there so with that HDMI port I can hook it up to the Elgato which you might not be able okay you can see it you can barely see it right there that's the old Elgato HD uh, it's hooked up to that camera and yeah I need the special drivers for it I got them from Elgato clutch 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 guys uh, I'll make a video on it though so anyway then here in the back we have the beast I've made a video about is the HD 60s early access if you don't believe me it's early access let's try and get it okay, I knocked out, out some things day zero edition for 91 out of 500 so really clutch I had to get it back here because I didn't have long enough cables otherwise um, anyway that's most things on my desk I've got one battery pack right there for my second Xbox One controller which is down there modified shell because my old one broke for some reason like just out of plain use got uh, some batteries and a battery shell as well for uh, that thing getting on to the games um, these aren't all my games I've got a lot of digital games there are some games there in that closet mostly for PC anyway I'm not gonna sum all of them up these are my Xbox One games I've actually bought uh, and a hard copy do have like Titanfall and such on a digital copy some more Xbox 360 games and yeah so here the new Elgato HD60S port and it does actually have this light on it when you turn it on but that only that time short controller box not too special printer oh and this is pretty nifty HD Audio Technica back uh, basically to carry my microphone and that's all so then desk with uh, some more stuff I need to study for the next two and a half weeks together with this uh, this is like ICT basically word in Excel so kind of easy easy uh, here's the G27 wheel you've seen me use it I've done a wheel cam and with that camera right there I'll be able to do it better hopefully if I can get it working enough anyway so yeah, we've got the pedals, basic accelerator, brake, and clutch, the steering wheel 900 degree rotation, H shifter, 6 speed, with one reverse, and a bottle of buttons. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Like, this has been my whole set to play. Yeah, I've got a couple of foods like Black Ops 2, Big One Advanced Warfare, a Ferrari calendar, because I'm a huge Ferrari fan, Formula One fan, Ferrari fan, as you know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. My name is Mickey Mraffer as always, and I'm signing off. See you. Tell me, tell me, tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.